Hi, it's Andrea from Club Sci Kids. I'm so glad that you joined us for another activity today. So you have already watched some videos and read some really cool facts about cows and looked at some farms. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a chemistry experiment with milk. It's very um, easy but really, really neat. Um, what you will need today is you will need a couple of Q-tips, some dish soap, Dawn, if you have it, food coloring, and then some milk, and then um, bowls. I'm actually just going to use um, the sturdy paper plates because you do not need a lot of milk. Um, and we're going to get started. We're going to do the ex um, experiment first, and then we're going to talk about what happened and how it worked and how we can change the experiment by using different kinds of milk. So for now, whatever milk you have is fine. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a plate. What you're going to do is you're just going to take a little bit of your milk. You just need enough to cover the bottom. Okay, and then I have a little bowl, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my Dawn dish soap in it. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. Now, this is where you can have some fun with food coloring. You're going to just use the different colors and just put a couple of dots all throughout the plate. Our plate of milk has color all throughout it. Now what you're going to do is take a Q-tip, going to dip it in the Dawn dish soap. You want to fill it up or get it, have a lot of soap. And so now what you're going to, what um, you're going to have your kiddos do next is take the Q-tip with the Dawn soap you're going to stick it in to the milk and you're going to hold it into the milk for about 10 or 15 seconds. And the important part is, as you stick the Q-tip in, you really need to be watching and paying attention. All right, here we go. How neat is that? So what do you think is happening? And why do you think it is happening? It's a pretty safe bet that once you stop seeing the movement, you can go ahead and take out your Q-tip. Now, a lot of kids say, oh, that was so neat. I want to do it again. So go ahead and try it. Get another Q-tip. Put it in the Dawn soap. Hmm, it didn't do anything this time. So it's important to think about why you think that we got the reaction that we got. So, I want you to think about milk for a little bit. Milk is mostly made up of water, but it's also full of vitamins, minerals, proteins, and fat. Now, I want you to think about what is soap, and specifically Dawn soap. What, what do the commercials say it does? They say that it cuts grease and fat. So what is happening is that in our milk, the milk in there, whether you use skim milk or 2% or whole milk or even creamer or heavy cream, which has more um, percentage of milk, whatever kind of milk you're using does contain some fat. So as you put the food coloring in, that's going to help us see 
the movement of the molecules. So when we take some Dawn dish soap and we put it into the milk, what is happening is that this soap is immediately working at breaking down the fat molecules. As this is happening, it's causing movement, it's splitting molecules of the fat, it's causing movement between the soap and the fat and the water molecules. Now, the only reason we can see it is because of the color. So by adding that food coloring, it creates this really neat colorful rainbow burst, but what we're actually seeing is the breakdown of different chemicals and how they're repelled and attracted based on what kind of molecules they are. So, now I want you to think about, how do you think the fat content of the milk or the dairy product we use affects the result that we see? Now, I have some creamer, actually half and half. We're going to do it again. I'm going to carefully move this. So do you think that the result is going to be less than or more than with a higher fat content. Half and half is about has contains about 18% um, milk fat. Whole percent uh, whole milk, I believe, is about eight percent. Um, so we're going to just recreate the activity, filling the plate with the um, half and half and then adding the different colors all throughout. Our plate full of half and half is ready. So we have our Q-tip. We're going to fill it with, or dip it in the Dawn dish soap. Now remember when we put it into the half and half, we're gonna hold it there. And also think about how fast did we see the reaction last time? What kind of colors we saw? What kind of patterns did we see? So we're going to go ahead and let's take a look. So, in what ways was this reaction the same? In what ways was this different? It's actually really, really pretty. So again, the um, fat content of the milk or the dairy product you use definitely does have um, an effect on the the reaction that you see. Molecules. So you can see that even just looking at our results of after it sat for a couple minutes, let me see if I can move. And again, this is our whole milk. So just look at the difference. This one right here was the half and half, and this is the whole milk. And you can totally see a difference in how the colors continued to mix all together. And here, they're still definitely separate. Let's see if we can go ahead, see if there's any more fat molecules that haven't been separated. No, it's pretty much, so we can still have a little bit of movement. So if you do have um, different kinds of milk or maybe um, you have some creamer or half and half. It is really neat to see how the different kinds of milk, um, the different um, percentage of fat, how that has an effect. So we hope that you have enjoyed doing some chemistry using milk and colors. And the nice part is that you use just a little bit of milk, so you can definitely do it a couple more times. Um, so we hope that you'd enjoy. And if you have any comments or questions, we'd love to um, hear them and to also see how your experiment went. We hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.